Yeah, so that Suits ad uh, for T-Mobile where they're in a garage auditioning uh, drives me nuts it, for all the reasons. Uh, I don't know. It makes me cringe. feels kind of cheesy. Uh, and yeah, I think it's because I've been watching ads lately because all the streaming services now all run ads, even though I feel like the promise when streaming services started was they don't run ads. And so now we're in a, you know, we're in a world where cable runs ads and streaming services are basically running cable ads, except they didn't get translated correctly, so they're at a weird frame rate or something. It's it's the weirdest thing. But the ones that the ones that really stand out to me are yeah, the Suits guys auditioning and the T Mobile ad. But then there's another T Mobile ad, uh, the Scrubs guys, Donald Faison and Zach Braff, who famously are friends in real life, are doing a T Mobile ad of themselves. But it's highly highly implied that they're you know they're their Scrubs characters. Um, there's others. Uh, I know the office people, the girls from the office are, are, are hawking some kind of, you know, so, just hawking soap. The, you know, it's, every, every ad for me is just selling soap. But the, the girls from the office are selling something. I feel, I feel like Stanley from the office is selling something. Uh, Toby was selling burgers or something. And so there's all these like legacy TV characters out of their elements selling soap. Like all the top streaming shows everywhere with the exception of the one show every year that Netflix puts out that's new that happens to accidentally do well. Um, the the big streaming shows that are just constantly being watched like crazy are long running, you know, slightly older shows, Friends, The Office, Seinfeld, Community, New Girl, um, 30 Rock, like shows that have a ton of episodes and usually a ton of seasons, depending on how many seasons you count community to have and i think that i think that speaks to something i think that speaks to the fact that first of all tv is not really made like that anymore um the only kind of shows that are still 22 episode uh you know multi-year shows tend to be on cbs abc nbc fox you know the network shows which is not where most shows are being made anymore uh that's in cable world or script streaming world where you know I feel like you're lucky on a streamer to get a eight or a 10 episode show for maybe a few seasons, a couple seasons. I feel like Netflix has been really on it about just, you know, shows after a season. Um, but clearly there's an appetite for long running shows. So I would like Hollywood to somehow get back to making 22 episode seasons of shows because that's what's getting consumed. That's what I care about. You know, it, it annoys me to no end to see, Zach Braff and Donald Faison singing in a T-Mobile ad uh, when I, the, you know, they're the characters that I grew to have a, you know, very personal relationship with Scrubs with. But when I see them doing the T-Mobile ad, does it make me think, oh man, I should go watch Scrubs? Mm, no, for some reason, no, I don't know. Is, is that unique to me? I really don't know. This is, I'm, I know this is a weird, like, yeah, this is, this is a weird thought, but like, it's just like, you know, leave my leave my characters alone. So, what other shows are doing this? I feel like there's always been shows throughout time. Like, I feel like Seinfeld had one back when Seinfeld was on. Um, oh, Modern Family has one. Phil Dunphy is on, like, Realtor.com or something. Um, so, it's a thing, but it's also, like, I would like my characters to be my characters. Um, you know, I, is that is that weird is that creepy or is that actually like the human experience and i've i'm i'm demonstrating my humanity i don't know uh like share subscribe let me know about shows that you like or hate that are now ads catch you next time